Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. Two teens in love, two young victims of the Colorado floods. Family members tell us 19-year-old Wesley Quinlan and Wyanna Nelson were swept away in a torrent of water. This debris field gives you a sense of just how high and powerful the water was at the height of the storm. It was about a half mile up the road from here where Nelson and Quinlan were swept away. Their car careened off the road and got stuck on a wall of debris. Family members say they tried to escape, but the water was too swift. Nelson fell first and Quinlan tried to save her. They're among the seven people now presumed dead across the state. Hundreds still unaccounted for. More than a thousand people have lost their homes. The cops and firefighters said it'd be probably like two to three weeks until they can build a bridge and then we can get our vehicles out. Casey yeah. Corbley's yeah, home's one of those cut right off. He got out just in time. These are pictures from his neighborhood, cars buried in mud, and the huge hole that was once a road. The reality hasn't hit quite yet. Casey is determined to get back home by hiking, an uphill climb fueled by a Colorado spirit that doesn't give up.